Namaste. In the previous learning dialogue video, we have discussed about the flex linkages of particular conductor in a group of conductors. And also, we have generalized that equation. Okay. So now, we are going to uh, use the similar uh, analogy for the composite conductor lines. Okay. Again, we will uh, start with a single phase line where you will have uh, two conductors and each conductor will have n number of uh, some uh, strands or you can say m number m dash number of strands okay let us consider a single phase line consisting of two composite conductors conductor a and conductor b okay if you consider the conductor a there are n number of strands okay starting from one two three and then up to n and all together carries a current of i okay so these are the things that you need to consider in conductor A, the means composite uh, conductor A, there are a number of uh, filaments or strands and all together are carrying a current of I. That means each uh, strand will carry a current of I by N. Okay? So that is the configuration for conductor A. Similarly, conductor B consisting of M dash number of uh, conductors, strands or uh, filaments. And again, uh, if you, since you are considering a single phase line, the same amount of current will flow through this uh, set of uh, strands in conductor B, but in the opposite direction. This is the only difference. Okay, so this is the configuration of our composite conductor. Okay, so we are considering a single phase line with two composite conductors. Let us try to write down uh, uh, the first uh, uh, the flux linkages, and then we will try to calculate the inductance okay for that let us start with one of the conductor in this particular group a okay so conductor a let us conduct uh, let us consider this uh, conductor i okay and try to write down the expression for flux linkages because of the current that is flowing through each and every strand in this particular uh, uh, group a conductors and also our conductor a strands as well as the flux linked with the same conductor I because of the currents that are flowing through con uh, strands of composite conductor B. Okay, so then you will get the flux linkages because of the total current with respect to this particular strand I. Okay, so uh, first we need to write the expression for the flux linkages of this conductor I because of the currents flowing through the strands in the uh, self group, you can say. Okay, this you can consider as a conductor B or a mutual uh, conductor. Okay, so let us uh, already we have already discussed about this in the previous uh, video how to write the expression for uh, flux linkages in a group of conductors. Okay, so lambda i lambda i is equal to 2 into 10 power minus 7 i by n. Okay, why i by n? It is the current passing through each and every strand in the conductor A, composite conductor A is fraction I by N okay, into natural logarithm 1 by DI1, natural logarithm 1 by DI2, so on, natural logarithm 1 by DI. It is because of the current flowing through this same conductor I. This particular term, land natural logarithm 1 by DI, is a uh, flux linkage with the conductor I because of the current II flowing through the same conductor. So you will this will be different compared to the other uh, terms where the other terms are the flux link with the conductor i because the current is flowing through the other conductors so this is uh, the flux link with conductor i because of the currents that are flowing through each and every strand in group a okay similarly you need to add the flux linkages uh, that are uh, linked with the conductor i because of the currents flowing through the strands in group b or conductor b okay so those uh, flux linkages will be given like this okay so again it is uh, 2 into minus uh, 2 into 10 power minus 7 here the current is minus i by m dash okay uh, the same amount of current which since we have assumed i i amperes is flowing in the forward direction the same current will come back in the conductor b group Okay, so when I is flowing in the forward direction, group B conductors will carry minus I in the opposite direction. Okay, so now if you divide this minus I among all M, M dash number of uh, strands, what happens is the 
fraction of the current will become minus i by m dash. That's why we have this minus i by m dash. Okay, so it is minus 2 into 10 power minus 7 i by m dash natural logarithm 1 by d i 1 dash plus what is d i 1 dash? It is a flux only, it is the distance from 1 dash in conductor B. Okay, so this is the d i 1 dash is the distance from this conductor 1 dash in conductor B to ith conductor in conductor A. Okay, similarly, we will have d i 2 dash, d i 3 dash, d i j dash, d i m dash. What is d i m dash? It is the distance from m dash conductor in group or conductor B to ith conductor in conductor A. So, this is the distance. So, what about this uh, di1, di2, di in D, din? Okay. For example, if you take uh, din, the distance from nth conductor in conductor A to ith conductor in conductor A. That is, these distances are within the group. The distances in the first term are within the group, among the strands in the conductor A group only, conductor A only. Whereas, the distances in the second term the distances in the second term these distances are the distances from each and every strand in conductor b to the conductor i in, uh, to the strand i in conductor a okay so this is what you need to understand so this is about uh, lambda i so this is lambda i is the flex link with the conductor uh, the strand i because of the Currents that are flowing through each and every strand in conductor A as well as conductor B. Okay, so now can you calculate the inductance of uh, this particular strand I? If you want, you can calculate. Just if you simplify this expression, what you will get it is just in the, if you look at uh, these two terms, 2 into 10 power minus 7 I by n, uh, even uh, n is not common, up to I it's common. Okay, you have uh, the same term in both the uh, uh, terms so you can take that as common and then if you uh, simplify the remaining terms it will they will become natural logarithm the what are the, uh, the terms that you have in the second uh, term they will be the numerators okay, because they are reciprocal they will become numerators so di1 dash di2 dash dim dash whole power 1 by m dash this is 1 by m dash you are getting it from this term i by m dash. Similarly, this uh, but first term if you simplify, you can uh, write it as, uh, if you take the sum of all these uh, natural logarithms, you can write it as natural logarithm 1 by di1, uh, 1 by di2 into 1 by di n, uh, so on so on, or to 1 by di n. So in the denominator we will have di1, di2, di and di n. Okay? And if you take this 1 by n inside the natural logarithm, then it will become power. Okay, which is nothing but since it is a reciprocal of m dash and reciprocal of n they will become roots okay so the numerator uh, is nothing but m dash the root of uh, this uh, di1 dash di2 dash di m dash and uh, the denominator is also nth root of di1 di2 di di okay so this is a uh, lambda i and then uh, from that you can calculate the inductance okay how do you calculate the inductance you can calculate it simply dividing the flux linkages with current. Okay, what is the current that is flowing through the ith uh, strand in your uh, conductor? A? It is I by n. So we, can, we know the flux link is flux linked with that conductor I, and we know the uh, current passing through that conductor that is I by n. So inductance can be uh, written as lambda I is equal to uh, sorry L I is, I is equal to lambda I by I by n. So, if you divide this with i by n, then it will become 2 n into 10 power minus 7 natural logarithm di1 dash di2 dash dij dash dim dash whole power 1 by m dash divided by di1 di2 di n di n whole power 1 by n Henry per meter. Okay, so, this is a simplified expression for ith strand in conductor A. Okay. So, then uh, if you take the uh, average of the inductance of elements of composite conductor A, that can be, uh, since you have n number of uh, strands in uh, conductor A, the average will become L1 plus L2 plus Li and Ln whole by A, N. 
Okay, so this is the average inductance. But uh, if you want to calculate the inductance of our uh, total conductor, then it is since they all are in parallel, so you will have L average divided by n, which is going to be L1 plus L2 plus Ln by n square. Okay, so this is the expression for uh, LA. Now you can substitute uh, this L1, L2, Ln, and you can also calculate what is LA. So this is the LA. It will become. Uh, it is going to be. 2 into 10 power minus 7 natural logarithm. This whole thing uh, will come because when you substitute uh, L1, L2, and L, and so on. Okay, so we'll continue the same uh, derivation in the next uh, video.